Now, if I take you to Quran chapter 4, verse 118 to 119, let's see what God actually says concerning Iblis, the devil, right? Quran chapter 4, verse 118 to 119. Quran chapter 4, verse 118 to 119. And mind you, mind you, Adam was not circumcised by anybody. Noah was not circumcised by anybody. According to the Bible, circumcision started at the time of Abraham when he was 99 years. <laughs> so as an old man, he now have to take a knife and cut his foreskin out. That is what the Bible is telling you. <laughs> Do you see? Uh -huh. That is where circumcision started, right? Mm -hmm. So this is very funny. So chapter 4, verse 118, God has cursed him, that is what he believes. For he said, I will take an ordained share of your servant, right? Then verse 119, chapter 4, verse 119, and I, the devil, will mislead them and I will make them a spy. I will command them to let them slit the ears of livestock, just like we see happening to the cattle, the cow. People cut their ears and livestock off. Uh -huh. And I will command them to let them change the creation of God. Right? When a kid is giving birth to, right? The foreskin is part of the creation. He will cut it off. Somebody will say, why is it that we cut the hair and the, uh, and the fingernails? That is a different instance of the body. Your fingernails is not your skin. They grow and they can even go out they, by themselves. Your hair grows, it can go off by itself. So cutting the hair, cutting the fingernails has nothing to do against God. But we are talking about skin, something on your skin. It is not something that uh, God made a mistake to put the foreskin there. No. Somebody will say, well, why do they cut our umbilical cord? Because it's an external thing. It's not part of your skin. No. You understand? So God says, the devil is now saying in the Quran, I will command them to let them change the creation of God. So what happens? You go and circumcise your kids and say, this is imperfect. So now you are smarter than God. You have to do the perfect one. Ask yourself, when Adam was created, was he circumcised? When, when Noah was created was on earth, was he circumcised? How is it that Jesus, uh, Abraham has to get to 99 years before getting circumcision? And how come the Quran doesn't confirm this act? So why are the mushriks taking up this act? So let me show you where they got it. So after this verse, then God says, and whoever takes the devil as an ally besides God, then he has lost by a clear loss. So it is obvious the devil is the one telling you to change the creation of God. Just like women who are created dark, but they want to bleach and become something else. Right? They want to change the skin from black, dark, to become something else. That's against God. Right? Somebody will say, oh, what about uh, doing the tattoo on the skin? Tattoo wasn't inspired by God. God didn't ask you to go and design something on your skin. Right? So you are changing the creation of God. That is the instance there. Where did God ask you to do tattoo? So who are you doing it for on your skin? You have to think twice. For people who have done it in the past, it has already happened. You cannot change that. It has already happened. Right? We don't go back to the past. But then you have to learn from your mistakes and see what God is cautioning you over. Right? Uh -huh. So then it continues, verse 120, chapter 4, verse 120. And he, the devil, promises them and raises their hopes. But the devil only promised them, what? Delusion. You see? So I'm going to show you where the instance of circumcision come from. But remember, Quran chapter 32, verse 7 to verse 9. The way God created us, he told us he created us in a perfect form already. Right? That's why when a baby is born, unless if he have any some uh, surgical issues whereby it has the baby has to go in a in a uh, uh, in a let's say deformed uh, form and then something has to be fixed. But other than that, when you are created as a normal human being, what is the need for the circumcision? Who who instructed that? Let any Muslim step forward and show me in the Quran where God says when a baby is born after seven days or eight days you have to circumcise them. It doesn't exist. And God says what? 
Quran chapter 6 verse 115 wa tammat kalimatu rabbika sidqan wa adlan la mubaddila li kalmati the word of your lord is complete in truth and justice so how come we don't find it in the complete word of god why is there no circumcision here why doesn't he say you should circumcise your kids was muhammad himself circumcised bring your evidence i'm waiting bring your best hadith books let's see where it says muhammad was circumcised it doesn't exist 